Hey everybody, I'm Stephanie Haney here with 3 News, here with two gentlemen who need no introduction, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> we have Leon Bibb and the fabulous Al Roker with us today. And today, we are all about celebrating 75 years of WKYC with two of you who were mm -hmm. here 45 years ago. Wow, not in this that. building, but here in, you know, 78, 79 mm -hmm. when you came to us. I have to ask you, from all that time to now, being back here, what's the same? What feels the same? coming back together again. Well, Leon's the same. Well, I'm the same, just a little grayer and a little older. I'm the, but 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 it's still it's still TV. It's still TV news and it's still trying to uh, 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 give the audience uh, what it wants, some information and a little a few words of comedy along the way. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is uh, when I first met Leon, uh, you know, and and one of the great things about Cleveland television is that so many people who are on Cleveland television, grew up in Cleveland. I mean, I didn't, but I, I feel like this is my second home. But Leon literally delivered the news when he was a kid. He was a newspaper boy delivering the newspaper. The plain dealer more. The plain every dealer. He had, the, he had a good arm. He could have yeah. he played for the Guardians. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but, you know, and then he worked his way through, and he, you know, he's one of uh, Cleveland's own. And and uh, but he was very suave and boner. He's got that he's got that voice, you know. And he would also he'd write poetry, you know. He'd write this cool poetry. And he was like this. He's like this Renaissance guy. So I, I always loved looking up to Leon because he just he was kind of he's a he's a hometown hero. He knows what he does. People trust him. But he also had this you know kind of. You know, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, yeah, je ne sais, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you, you could see him on a Saturday night in a coffee house, a black beret, yeah, yeah, and a, yeah, and yeah, a cigarette. Yeah, you know? Doing some poetry. Hey. Yeah. But, but this guy here brought a, this guy here brought a humorous side. He could do the weather, and you even were doing cartoons. You yep. were even doing cartoons in the weather, putting your cartoon characters on the weather map. It was sunshiny. It would be some cartoony character that you would put up there. And this guy kept the newsroom going. And I'll tell the audience, what you see here on the air is Al Roker all the time. Generally speaking. Yeah, yeah. Generally speaking. My kids speaking. might argue that. Point. <laughs> Generally <laughs> speaking. I'd like to hear a little bit more about the Leon and the Al behind the scenes, though. Take me back. Take me back to 1978 and 1979 when you were here. I know you two famously, you know, yeah. were riding the route to Shaker Heights back and from. So, and uh, I understand you had some nicknames for each other. Tell me about those nicknames. Well, his nickname was Cool Papa Bib. That's what I, I mean, he just was, he just was, you know, he was cool, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, this guy's name was Big Al, everybody's pal. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the other thing that was, and, and listen, I'm not, I, I can't speak to the newsroom today, but I'm sure it's, it's a version of this. But we, it was a very collegial uh, uh Group. I mean, everybody hung out at everybody else's right. house. You know, uh, softball games, barbecues. You know, uh, uh, you know, late night, and, and you know, and, and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. And it, everybody. I mean, from the photographers to the producers to the anchors to the reporters, everybody hung together. Everybody, everybody knew each other. Yep. And then we even got to, got together. You and I would get together on the on the rapid transit, like Stephanie was talking about a little bit. You know, we would catch. We were both living in Shaker Heights. Yep. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I was two stops away from your stop. Yep. So I'd pick you up around 3 o'clock on the rapid transit. Mm -hmm. We're coming in to work on the 11 o'clock show, the 6 o'clock and the 11 o'clock show. And then at midnight, we'd catch that... The 11.58. The, the, going back out to Shaker, yep. the 11.58. And, and we had a couple Shaker. of producers <clears throat> who were also yeah. there, you who, know, were, who, also, who would ride with us. So and, and it was really terrific. This guy was doing comedy. So I'm not going to out-comedy Al Rooker. <laughs> I'm tossing him up, and he's spiking them over the net. And we're doing this for free on the rapid transit. <laughs> and the people are just applauding like crazy. Well, plus, it was the same group of people. You'd see the same folks driving. So it was, you know, it, it really was a, a, a magical time. I don't think I'm looking at rose-colored glasses. It was no. just, it was a, it was a real special, really special time, you know. And, uh, and, and, and the other thing was, Channel 3 was on the ascent. You know, for the longest time, we were number three in a three station yeah. market and and we were and and I, I will tell you it was a very difficult choice when i had the opportunity to go to new york city to the nbc station in new york only because and the only reason i really left was it was it was home mm -hmm. that, but because i loved i loved it here uh, and i still love it here well, you, grew, you grew up you grew up there yeah i grew up son in new york of city. a motor man your father, My father was on, a bus driver a, a bus driver yep. in the new york transit system. new york city transit system and, and, you know, I had a chance to go home to, you know, to, so my parents could actually turn on the TV and, mm -hmm. and see their boy. And but, but I, you know, I, I come back as much as I can. And my sister lives here. 
I, 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 I love this city. Well, I'll tell you what, I hope that we do have a little bit of the same camaraderie vibe here. We recently had a station softball game. Leon was our closer, and he brought home the win for us. And that was just a couple yeah. months ago, just uh, so and, you know. And went home and soaked my arm. <laughs> but that's the thing. I, and that, that, that arm was developed yeah. throwing the plane mm -hmm. dealer. But we had, we had a lot of fun. We played softball all the time yep. throughout the summer. Yep. We played the other stations in town. Mm -hmm. We played the plane dealer. And we'd go out to different communities for their home days. Yep. Bedford, Bedford Heights, that's all right, of that. That's right. That's and, we, right. and we had a lot of fun out there yeah. doing that. And you know, we, then we'd get together. We'd afterwards we'd go to a bar. We'd hang out. Uh, one of the uh, uh, one of our photographers went on to be a, a mainstay in television. Uh, Bill Getty. Bill Getty. He was one of our photographers. Went on to be you know produce uh, the View with Barbara Walters. We recently lost him, but yeah. uh, you know it was uh, it was pretty good. You know. It was going to do a lot of hey, fun. Hey, Laura, you got to get it, quieter it, it shoes. It was a lot of fun. I, I hear you, <laughs> you walking all the way Laura Queso, Laura Queso, ladies and gentlemen. Click, 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 I think click, it's click, great click, that you have an anchor named after a Mexican appetizer. That's fantastic. That's okay, what so. people say is their favorite yeah. thing about her. We get yeah. emails about it all the time. Everybody mm -hmm. likes a good queso. <laughs> Everybody yeah. does yeah. like a good queso. Our Jane of all trades. You know, so you have your sister living in Shaker Heights. Yes. You know, Leon, mm -hmm. you've been here for quite some time. You've been with us here at three and other stations in town. When you come back, a lot of things change over 45 years. A lot of things change over 75 years. Is there a staple that you still love to go to that was around back then or maybe something new that you're hanging out at when you come back into town? You know, it's funny. Almost Almost every place we like to eat, yeah. we used to like to eat, is gone. You know? It's gone. Uh, uh, Pat Joyce's, uh, Captain Frank's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, right, down right down on East Ninth Street. East Ninth, you know, yeah. All the, uh, but but yeah, there are a lot of great new places. Michael Simon's uh, place, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, uh, there's just some really uh, uh, Shaker Square. I, I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the place. The guy Ed who, who uses folks who have. Uh, 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 Krostowski, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, Edwin's, 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 Edwin's. <coughs> terrific spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, I mean, the the more things change, the more they remain the same. There's still, you know, uh, listen, one place that is still there that I love that is probably better than ever is Tommy's. Uh, up in Cleveland Heights, okay. yeah. you know, uh, those shakes and the falafel sandwich and Tommy's. Great, great, great stuff, great yeah. stuff. We were, we were eating well during those days. Oh, we're, my gosh. We're still eating well. Yeah, we're still, you know, listen, you, you eat well in Cleveland, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, uh, and, and one of my favorite spots, I won't get there this time around, but I love going to the West Side Market. You know, oh, and yeah. and it, and it's it's really developed where it's more. There's a lot of artisanal. You know, it's funny we, we talk about oh artisanal. Well, they were making artisanal sausages uh, uh, years yeah. and years before anybody even coined the phrase. But they give it a new name and then they charge another five bucks a pound for <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how you do it. But it's still there. Yeah. West Side Market's still there. It's gorgeous. And, and doing big business. Yeah. Doing big business. It certainly is. Yeah. We, how things going in New York now? Think I mean, we see you every day mm -hmm. on the on the morning show. On, yeah. on the Today Show. Show. Yes, and I say, well, "There's my friend. There's Big Al, everybody's pal, right there on network." How, how, how are things going? For things you? are going well. It's no secret. I had uh, some real health challenges at the end of uh, last year. Uh, it was just, just about a year from uh, yeah. this this date. Uh, but you know, listen, I've been very blessed. I had a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of uh, prayers and, and well wishes from folks out there. And 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 let me tell you, uh, I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, and Deborah was just unbelievable in 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 uh, kind of. Uh, uh, riding herd on all of the the because I, I had like seven doctors uh, all at once working on me at, at one time mm -hmm. but uh, uh, you know the great thing the best gift she gave me was I had no idea how sick I was uh, so all I, I, I as far as I knew I was going to get better and uh, I was able to really uh, uh, concentrate on that and then I also found out uh, my oldest was expecting our first grandchild and mm. so now I've got little uh, baby Sky Clara, and she's four and a half months, and just uh, uh, you know, Leon's got four. I mean, uh, four, four grandkids. Uh, and and so a guy told me, uh, and it's true. He said, "Listen, these kids, are, these grandkids are so much fun. If I had known it was going to be like this, I would have had them first. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, yeah. So so I mean, it's she fun. and she's a good little girl. You know. So it's it's like I've got a whole new lease on life, and it's great because somebody said, well. It, 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 do you remember what it's like taking care of a baby? I said, it's like riding a bike. The difference is I get to give the bike back. <laughs> you know, so it's fantastic. Where, where, where do you, and you're asking the question. I, so, I'm, I'm such a reporter here. You know me. I, I just, mm -hmm. Where do you get all of the, all of the, the humor and the lines. They've always been there. Well, You've always been able to ad lib even in the middle of your weather cast. Well, I think that's, I think <clears throat> weather, I, I will uh, listen, two things. I, I, I've always loved radio. Yeah. Uh, and as I've, I told you years ago. Yeah. I mean, I never was even going to be on TV. I just wanted mm -hmm. to be 
work in television. I didn't want to yeah. be on TV. And so I, I, I loved radio. So, you know, you, I did a lot of radio in college and, and while I was coming yeah. up. So that, that's ad-libbing. And, and weather, you know, you don't work, you're working without yeah. a script. So, you know, it, it's that, you know, that, that ability to, to just, you know, and, and the great thing about local news is that you get three and a half minutes to do weather. Yeah. Three, four <laughs> minutes is even at 11 o'clock. If I'm on the Today Show, if I'm lucky, if I get a minute, you know, so, you know. It's, do uh, you remember the time when you and the anchor team and the sports team were all at Edgewater Park? It was a holiday, mm -hmm. and you got blown off the air because oh, of right. heavy weather. Yeah, Hev and you told them, Let, "Don't do this show. Yeah. Don't do, don't send us out on we're, remote we're because he heavy yes, weather right. is planned, coming in they, live. They, they the whole the show was going to be out there around the cooking wieners and all yep. of that, on, on, and burgers on, on little on a little barbecue stand. Yep. You, you set up out there, but then the weather came in just before airtime. Yeah, we got, I mean, we got knocked off the air. And, and I, I got, there was a page in the building, Leon Bibb, Leon Bibb, <laughs> report to the studio. So I come down the studio, I got to do a half hour with nothing. The whole show is out there. I got, so all I could do was take phone calls. I, it turned it into a radio show. Then you guys came in, you and Mona Scott, uh, uh, Doug Adair, and somebody else came in drenched. Yep. 20 minutes later, Dragged in and on the set, and we finished it out. Yeah. Oh no. It's and it, it's one of the, it, it, yeah, that, as a weather person, working in Cleveland is 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 one of the great challenges. But that's what you love doing about it. You know, you could watch these squall lines come in, and I remember we just dropped a line out, and I did a. I was out in front of a, when mm -hmm. we were on East Sixth Street, and literally you could watch on the radar, and you could see it coming in. And we were, I was literally in a whiteout condition. And 20 minutes later, four inches of snow had dropped wow. downtown, and boom, you know. But and so, and that's why. Just one of the reasons, and and as Leon alluded to, I what was great about here is that they let you do everything. So not only did I do weather, I went out and did. If I had an idea for a, a story, <laughs> mm -hmm. like I got, you know, with, you know, with the penguins at Metro Park Zoo or whatever, you could do whatever you wanted, and it was uh, it allowed you to to broaden your horizons. Well, listen, anytime you want to come back, we'll hatch, we'll set you up with the penguins. We'll have a good time. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you too very much for okay. letting me sit in on a conversation while y'all catch up and reminisce. I really appreciate it. One of the great ones, truly oh, one of the greats. In broadcasting, stop it some more. Worldwide, <laughs> nationwide. I love this guy. I love this guy. We are honored to have both of you in our neck of the woods. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for being with us. Appreciate it. I'm Stephanie Haney.